Well, right now we're just coming off of the the rehab portion of our return, uh, getting back into some of the debriefs. We actually finish our debriefs tomorrow. So, and then we'll eventually get back into those type of roles and specifically what we'll be involved with. Certainly we, we will have some insight and some uh, interaction with the Boeing folks and NASA that works those programs. Uh, but who knows what we'll be working on uh, as time goes on. Like we're getting our next crew member here. That is none other than Sonny Williams. Big smile, big waves. She like her other. There we have it, some waves, some thumbs up and some smiles. We are getting some views of him now as he egresses or exits the spacecraft. I think initially we'll start from the very beginning. Um, you know, pulling G's for 30 plus years, I don't have a great, you know, I got some issues in my neck. I can't turn my head all the way, but in space that goes away. You know, you don't have any stress on your body. No problem with my neck. We're still floating in the capsule uh, in the, in the ocean and my neck starts hurting before, <laughs> while we're still hadn't even extracted yet. So anyway, gravity stinks for a period. Yeah. Um, and, and that period varies for different people, but eventually you get over that nervous vestibular uh, balance type of issues. And then your back is not used to holding up your structure. So it, the muscles tense up. And splash down crew nine back on earth. Yeah, so yeah. that's that was really the first month to 45 days of that. And then we graduated and, uh, you know, back to normal. And I felt, though, uh, honestly, I was still tired, like all the little muscles are getting reengaged. And so it kept me being like not being able to wake up like I normally like to wake up early in the morning until about a week and a half ago. Then I'm like up at four in the morning. I'm like, aha, I'm back. So, you know, I think. All of that just takes a little while to get back to, to gravity. Just like Butch said, it's just a little bit of a, a readaptation. And, and, and then, you know, we're here and we're feeling fine. It's been a little bit of a whirlwind because we also have obligations to all of our, uh, the folks that we worked with, you know, the International Space Station program, the, you know, the Boeing NASA team for Starliner, the science program. So we've been doing debriefs also for the last month or so. So it's been pretty busy. Beatable. So just to kind of finish off what I was saying is uh, once that side hatch of the spacecraft is open, that crew will be assisted out of the capsule one by one. I, I think I think that would probably be a smart thing to do just to make sure everybody feels good about the spacecraft and they've uh, taken care of the issues that we saw when we were up on board. So it seems like the logical thing to do. I think we're pressing um, in that direction. Uh, and like I said, you know, I think that's the, the, the correct path, you know, just like uh, SpaceX had cargo vehicles, you know, the Russians also have cargo vehicles and they test out new concepts on those cargo vehicles before they implement them into ones that, that have humans on board. And it, it seems like a logical path. So uh, hoping Boeing and, and NASA have, will decide on that same course of action. All hooks open. All hooks are open. And undocking confirmed. Freedom is free of its moorings. Sonny Williams and Butch Heartburn Wilmore begin their nominal. belated Enter trip home. Separation confirmed. There's obviously, if you get into a situation like we were in, there's obviously some things that were missed, right? That's obvious, even to the casual observer. Why were they missed? We've got to figure that out. Um, and we need to correct that, those reasons why they were missed. And the things that were missed, we have to correct those as well. And that's the process that we're undergoing right now. And those details are, are varied and uh, more, like I said, more time than we have right now to discuss. But that's, that's the pathway that we're on. 